Hello, my name is Shane Finn. I'm an employee at Kerwin's Game Store. And today we're gonna to be opening up a box of Corset 2019. And so let's begin, let's get straight right to it. All right, guys, let's get that Nico Bolas in foil. The first pack. See what our rare is. Our rare is Dark Delver Oracle. Sacrifice a creature, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this turn. And a foil Pelico Worm. Nice. The foil. Pack two. All right. Catalyst Elemental. Sack to add two red mana. It's a pretty cool card. And our rare is Supreme Phantom. It's a two drop lord. Closer. Two drop lord. Other spirits you control get plus one, plus one. And flying. It's a one, three for two. And that's our rare for the pack. Sun Cleanser is our rare. When Sun Cleanser enters the battlefield, choose one. Remove all counters from target creature. It can't have counters put on it for as long as Sun Cleanser remains on the battlefield. Target opponent loses all counters. That player can't get counters for as long as Sun Cleanser remains on the battlefield. It's a 1-4 for 2. And we have a Foil Mighty Leap. And the proxy card for Nico Bolas. I like what they did with this now. It's pretty cool. Let's go. Lava Axe, Knight of the Tusk, Highland Game, Two Headed Zombie, Cavalry Drill Master. Let's see if we've got anything good in this pack. Foul Spectre, Liliana's Contract. When it enters the battlefield, you draw four cards and you lose four life. At the game of your upkeep, if you control four or more demons with different names, you win the game. This card causes a really big spike increase for Shadowborn Apostle. Next pack. Bristling Boar. Field Creeper. Rabbit Bite, Fiery Finished, Declare Dominance. Ooh, we have one of the Elder Dragons. It has flying, it's a 6-6 six, six for six, and whenever he attacks for each player, choose target, per choose for each, when it attacks for each player, choose target permit that player controls. Those players sacrifice those permits. Each player who sacrificed a permit this way reveals a top card or library, then puts it on the battlefield if it's a permanent card. It's pretty cool. Nice art. Pretty cool. It's a good card, actually. It's probably one of the good other dragons. One of the few I like. Good old giant spider. Uh, Reprimed Colossal Dreadma for like the 40th time. Reliquary Tower reprint. Really nice. Six dollar card reprint. You have no maximum hand size played in every commander deck. If you do not have one, go out and buy one. And the long awaited reprint for me in standard, a Johnny Pride Mate. Now, this card's probably going to shake up the meta pretty good in standard. And our rare is Mist Caller. Sacrifice Mist Caller until the end of turn. If a non creature would enter the battlefield and it wasn't cast, exile it instead. 
And then again with the Reliquary Tower, guys. Beautiful card. Game changer. And our rare is Banefire. Banefire is a classic reprint. It deals X damage to any target. If X is five or more, the spell can't be countered and the damage can't be prevented. Could get played in some kind of red green hybrid Rada standard else. And a, uh, a forest foil. It's a really nice forest, actually. And this pack opens up with a Catalyst Elemental. The good old Falcon. Let's see what our rare is going to be in this pack. Good old Enigma Drink reprint. And it's Transmorgifying Wand. When it enters a battlefield with three counters on it, remove a charge counter from Transmorgifying Wand. Destroy target creature. If its controller creates a 2 4 white ox creature token, activate this ability only anytime you could cast a sorcery. That's a wall of text right there. Ooh. Inspired Charge, Dwindle, Daggerback, Duress, Gearsmith Guardian, Druid of the Cow, Smelt, Lich Curse, Gallant Calvary, Sky Scanner, Ravenous Harpy, Dryad Green Seeker. This card did some work in the uh, pre releases. Um, Bow Bash Ogre and Vivian's Invocation. Look at the top seven cards of your library. You may put a creature card from among them on the battlefield. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. When a creature is put onto the battlefield, this way it deals damage equal to its power to target creature or target creature and opponent controls. That's going to see tons of commander play. Tons. Anyone playing green? Insane. They like threw that card in the set just for commander. Anticipate, Elvis Rejuvenator, Giant Spider. Let's see what we get for our rare. Ooh, Gutter Snipe, this card also the crazy in the two of the giant pre-releases. And our rare is Thorn Lieutenant. Whenever Thorn Lieutenant becomes a target of a spell or an ability and opponent's controls, create a one one green elf warrior creature token. And then Thorn Lieutenant gets four plus four until on a turn if you spend five colors and one green mana. And the zombie token. Good old classics. Horizon Scholar and Master Scepter. For four mana and tapping it, you put a charge counter on it. Removing three charge counters, you take an extra turn after this one. And the card does not sack, it does not get exiled. So in Commander, this card's probably going to be really good, especially for the Atraxa players who can peripherate and get it active on their next turn. Infectious Horror, that pulled its weight into edit. Rupture Spire. Demon of Castropsis. As additional cost to cast this spell, sacrifice a creature. Flying Trample 6-6 six, six for 4. Really good. Not legendary too. Tormenting Voice. Skeleton Archer. This with the Death Baron, we're instant killing with the one damage Death Touch. Uh, a Johnny's Welcome. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. It's like a Sword Warden in enchantment form. Remorseful Cleric. Sacrifice Remorseful Cleric. Exile all cards from target player's graveyard. It's a two mana, two one rare.
Let's see what we're going to get. We have Poison Tip Archer. He has a he's a four mana, two black, two one black, one green, two three, with Reach Death Touch. Whenever another creature dies, each opponent loses one life. It's like a more expensive Blood Artist, but yeah, Commander, anything's possible. Plague Mare, Flying Omnithemence. Wow, wow, Omnish. Wow, I'm not even bother. Each player loses half their life and then discards half the cards in their hand. And then sacrifices half the creatures they control, round it up each time. This card in uh, Twitter Giant made it so you both players just instantly lost the game. It was pretty fun. Alright guys, let's see what we get in this pack. Skeleton Archer. Crucible of Worlds. You may play land cards from your graveyard. This has been a, a long-winded reprint, for me especially. Insane pool. Diamond Mare. It's a cool new card. I like it. When it enters battlefield, you choose a color. When you cast a spell of the chosen color, you gain one life. So it fits in almost any commander deck. You just want to have a little bit of life gain in there. Surge Mare, another new card. It can't be blocked by green creatures. Whenever Surge Mare deals damage to an opponent, you may draw a card if you do discard a card. And then for one and one, and one blue, Surge Mare gets two plus neg two until end of turn. Ooh, Isolate is our rare exile target perm of converted mana cost one. So one white rare. It's probably going to be a cyborg card. No, definitely going to be a cyborg card. And we got a foil fountain of renewal. At the beginning of your upkeep, you gain one life. You sack it to draw a card for three mana. This card pulled its weight in the pre-releases also. And we got it in foil. This set's going to be actually a fun set probably in draft for anyone who likes to draft. Goblin Instigator. When he when Goblin Instigator enters the battlefield, you create a 1-1 one, one red goblin creature token. Explosives. Thud. An additional cost to cast a spell, sacrifice a creature. Thud deals damage equal to that sacrifice creature's power to any target. So it's just a super better fling. And then our rare is Cleansing Nova. Destroy all creatures, destroy all artifacts and enchantments. You have to choose one. It's a five mana, three and two white. And Infernal Reckoning, exile target colorless creature. You gain life equal to its power. Eh, goodbye, old Mog. Probably every black deck dragon run two in Cyborg for Modern. I know I am. All right, guys, let's see what we get in this pack. Another Goblin Instigator. A Dwarven Priest that enters the battlefield. You gain one life for each creature you control. I can see a game playing Commander and kind of heavy token deck, Tristani or something, based around life gain. Daggerback. Volley Veteran enters the battlefield, deals damage equal to target creature your opponent controls, equal to number of goblins you control. Mirror Image, a new copy spell, which I'm excited about. It enters the battlefield as a copy of any creature you control. A three mana, zero, zero. And our rare is Demanding Dragon. When Demanding Dragon enters the battlefield, it deals five damage to target opponent unless that player sacrifices a creature. 
court. Eh, cancel. Counter target spell. Ooh, we have a, another Elder Dragon Mythic, Flying Vigilance, the Strategist. Uh, whenever a creature with Defender enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. Each creature you control with a Defender assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power and can attack as though it didn't have Defender. This card is the meme of magic right now because you got to play a bunch of walls. Sarcom, the Fire Blood Foil. The Legendary Planeswalker. It's pretty cool. I'm excited for this guy, actually. So, he has a plus one. You may discard a card. If you do, draw a card. Hand fix. Really good. Another plus one. If you add two mana in any combination of colors, spend this mana only to cast Dragon Spells. Glorybringer. Especially Glorybringer. Uh, and has minus seven. You create four, five, five red dragon creature tokens. With flying. And then awesome foil, guys. This is really awesome to see. And we got the dragon token. Can't be that. The buddy system. been a crazy box. It's actually been really good. Divine Mare. Hexproof. Can't be blocked by black creatures. Lightning Mare. This spell can't be countered. Lightning Mare can't be blocked by blue creatures. Lightning Mare gets plus one zero on front of turn for one and one red. Little tribal horse stuff going on. Aerial Engineer. As long as you control an artifact, Aerial Engineer gets 2 plus 0 and has flying. He's a 2-4 normally, but he becomes a 4-4 four, four for 4 if you have a Thopter or anything. And we have the Dragon Queen herself. She's really cool. Whenever another dragon, another non-token dragon, enters the battlefield under your control, create a 5-5 five, five red dragon creature token with flying. And then for 1 and 1 red, dragons you control get 1 plus 0 on 20 turn. Really cool, guys. Really cool. And then the crazy cat token. Next pack, guys. Tormenting Voice. Dwarven Priest. Cancel. Talons of the Wildwood. The Waltz. Take Vengeance. Root Snare. Electrify. Walking Corpse. Snapping Dragon, Blanchwood Armor, Enchanted Creature gets plus one, plus one for each forest you control for three mana. It's an interesting card. Especially in Commander. Ooh, this guy's pretty good. When he enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card with power two or less among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Two, three for three. That searches out of two. Not bad. A Johnny's Last Stand. Whenever a creature or planeswalker you control dies, you may sacrifice a Johnny's Last Stand. If you do, create a 4-4 white avatar creature token with flying. When a spell or an ability the opponent controls causes you to discard this card, if you control a planes, create a 4-4 avatar creature token with flying. So you can't thought seize to rest it. It works. Ireland, and then the night token. Let's go. Starting out with a Divination. Classic. Draw all two cards. Goblin Instigator, Dwarven Priest, and there's that to rest. Diamond Mare, Johnny's Pride Mate. Dingin of Wishes, guys. When he enters the battlefield with three wish counters on it, for two and two blue, remove a wish counter from Dingin of Wishes. 
reveal a top card of your library, you may play that card without paying its mana cost if you don't exile it. Pretty cool. Five mana, four, four. And a foil sky scanner. When it enters the battlefield, you draw a card, a three mana, one, one flying draw. And the zombie token. Act of Treason. Funny card. Does its job well. Ooh, our rare is Runic Armasaur. Whenever an opponent activates an ability of a creature or land that isn't a mana ability, you may draw a card. It's a 2-5 for 3. It's probably going to get sideboarded in almost every green dino deck, at least in standard at the meantime. And it, it stops a lot of stuff. I mean, it doesn't stop it, but at least you benefit from them doing it. It's a really good card. And I love the art. And I'm glad it didn't abandon the whole dinosaur concept yet. So it's been pretty cool. Hope we get that five, uh, the five mana 10, 10. That's nah, a cool one, Gigantosaur. Here. Here. I love the art on Skeleton Archer. Reclamation Sage, great card. Glad to see you got reprinted. And our rare is Patient Rebuilding. At the beginning of your upkeep, target opponent puts the top three cards of their library into their graveyard. Then you draw a card for each land card put into the graveyard this way. It's really good. Omen Speaker, Lava Axe, Rocks Oracle. Root Snare, Endurance, the Brute. Oh, Departed Deckhand. When Departed Deckhand becomes the target of a spell, sacrifice it. Departed Deckhand can't be blocked except by spirits. Another target creature you control can't be blocked this turn except by spirits for three mana and one blue activate ability. And he's a one mana, one blue, two, two. One with the machine. Draw cards equal to the highest converted mana cost among artifacts you control. This card's definitely going to see commander play. Insane in anyone playing Badim, um, Bluetron, anything. Crazy. Sure Strike. Titanic Growth, Naturalize, great sideboard card. Murder, Destroy, Target Creature. Desecrate a Tomb, whenever one or more creature cards leave your graveyard, you create a 1-1 one, one Black Bat Creature Token with Flying. It's a pretty cool card. Dwarven Priest, cancel. The Plummet, destroys our creature of flying. Get rid of that Lyra. Ghost form, up to two target creatures, can't be blocked this turn. Aviation Pioneer, when Aviation Pioneer enters the battlefield, you create a 1-1 one, one colorless Doppler artifact creature token with flying. Three mana, 1-2, makes a 1-1 one, one upon entry. Another mirror. Ooh, we have a Liliana the Untouched by Death, guys. So, I pulled this during the pre-release myself, and I got super excited. So, it's plus one. is You put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. If at least one of them is a zombie card, each opponent loses two life, and you gain two life. So, insane. Two at a giant, any kind of fun format. That's four damage. Two damage, you're not playing two at it. Neg two. Target creature gets neg X, neg X, and hell, and a turn where X is the number of zombies you control. 
really good. Especially if you're playing Commander. That plus one will deal six damage. And then the neg two is going to do an insane amount of damage. Um, neg three, you may cast a zombie cards from your graveyard this turn. That's crazy. Then a mountain, and then an emblem. Bone to Ash, Meteor Gold, and the new Human Knight. Other Knights you control get plus one, plus one. For three mana and two white, Knights you control gain double strike till end of turn. Knights are a thing, guys. If you're going to play Knights, you need this card. It's Valiant Knight. It's a four mana, three, four. Shield Mare. It's one of the only mares we didn't show you guys yet. Can't be blocked by red creatures. When Shield Mare enters the battlefield or becomes target of a spell or an ability opponent's control, you gain three life. Ravenous Harpy. Switcheroo. Exchange control. Two target creatures. And a Chaos Wand. Target opponent exiles cards from the top of their library until they exile an instant or sorcery card. You may cast that card without paying its mana cost, and then put the exile cards that weren't cast this way on the bottom of that library in a random order. This card's definitely probably going to see Commander play. I mean, for four mana, you might hit something as big as a Ingrook's Wake to board wipe when you need it. So, I can see you seeing play. As long as you'll hit like a Brainstorm off or something like you don't really need at the time. You know, it's all about luck. Naturalize, Strangling Spores, Tectonic Rift, Recollect, Return Target Card from Your Graveyard to Your Hand. Good card. Ooh, the Regal Bloodlord, guys. So, new vampire for you Edgar Markov players or anyone playing Black White Life Gain. At the beginning of each end step, if you gain life this turn, create a 1 1 Black Bat creature token with flying. And it's each end step, so yours, your opponent's own commander, you can have four bats by your next turn. Ooh, and our rare is Death Baron, guys. Um, skeletons you control and other zombies you control get plus one plus one and have death touch This is this guy's first reprint in a very long time And I'm hoping to see big things out of him You have your upkeep if you control creature or power four or greater, draw a card, Colossal Majesty. And we have another Dingen of Wishes, guys. Four packs left. Duress. Skeleton Archer with that Death Baron, like I said earlier. One damage, Death Touch. And another Blanchwood Armor. Gutter Snipe. Mentor the Meek when another creature or power two or less enters the battlefield. When you control, you may pay one if you do draw a card. Good. Shield Mare. And Growth, man. This card's actually really good. 
Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets 7 plus 7 and has Trample. In the Twitter Giant pre-release, my partner put this on my Child of the Night, and we had an 8, or sorry, a 9-8 lifelink swinging around. It was just game at that point. And our rare is Dragon Horde. When Dragon Horde enters the battlefield and you control, you put a gold counter on Dragon Horde. Remove a gold counter from Dragon Horde, you draw a card, or add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Siege Break Giant. And a Tezzeret Artifice Master. For a plus one, create a 1-1 one, one colorless Stopter Artifact token with flying. For a zero, draw a card. If you control three or more artifacts, draw two cards instead. For a neg nine, you get an emblem with at the beginning of your end step. Search your library for a permanent card and put it onto the battlefield and shuffle your library. All right, guys, it's been a crazy box. I mean, pulling three Planeswalkers, one in foil is crazy enough, let alone the two Elder Dragons as well. Like always, it's been an honor opening up this box for you guys. Um, I hope you watch it enjoy. And you can pick up all your local singles at KGS Catskill or KGS Poughkeepsie or at www.kgsonline.com. And um, like always, enjoy and have a great day.